Hey y'all, I'm Crystal, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 3. I am trying to keep up with this. Um, as you can tell, it's pretty late in the evening. The sun is starting to set, but I thought I'd pop in here really quickly as I'm doing this little project. Um, and give you, and talk to you guys a little bit. Tell you how my day went. And uh, tell me how your day went. Comment below how your day went. Did you have a good day? I woke up this morning exhausted. I mean, I was tired. I was tired, tired this morning. Didn't want to get up. Um, but unfortunately, I had to. I had to work. Hopefully, my body um, will let me rest tonight. Uh, and uh, that way, I don't come down with a cold or anything like that. Um, but anyway, so now here I am. The animals have been fed. The humans um, have to be fed. My daughter is at is at work right now, so we don't have to worry about her. Just the uh, just the guys. Um, but we're gonna do an easy, easy dinner. Easy. We're having brats. It's good. It's easy, and it's good. <laughs> so anyway, I have to give you guys my random fact for today. And actually, some of you probably already know from watching my other videos. Um, okay, so here it goes. Um, random fact about me. I was born in Thailand. My mom is Thai Isan, 100% Thai Isan. Um, I am half Thai Isan. I was born in Udon Thani, Thailand in 1975. My dad was stationed uh, a couple of different places in Thailand, and the last place he was stationed was Udon uh, during the uh, Vietnam War. So my dad was a Vietnam vet. Um, he was United States Air Force. He was a security specialist, and their relationship had to be kept top secret, or he would lose all of his clearance. And um, I'm telling you guys this now because my dad is no longer with us. So I feel, I feel safe that I could tell you guys that without him getting on to me. So I was my daddy's souvenir from his uh, time in the jungle. Most guys brought home like stereos and stuff like that. My dad brought home a wife and a daughter. The true story. So if you're wondering why I didn't say that I was Thai and rather that I'm Thai Isan is because the area in which um, my mom's family is from, they're considered Thai Isan. So they're kind of, the easiest way to put this is they're kind of like the country folk. They're not proper like from the city. They're, they're just good old country folk. They, um, the food is a little bit different. It's kind of a mixture between a Thai and Lao and um, the dialect is more like from Laos so it, that's why it's Thai Isan a little bit of different food um, still same flavor profiles but a, a little different so growing up in Houston um, I grew up primarily and a lot of my friends were from Laos um, and so very 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 few from Thailand but um, so there you go the region that we're from we are considered Thai Isan Easily put, I'm country folk, born and raised. <laughs> okay, so that was my random fact. And you're probably wondering where Duke is. I don't know if you heard him a little bit earlier. Uh, he's in the house um, eating dinner and uh, playing with, uh, with the boy. Um, the cats are all full. Everybody's been fed. So everybody's kind of leaving me alone and letting me do this project. So yesterday, I told you guys that I was going to show you how to keep cats out of pots. And no, it's not mothballs. Mothballs are not very good for the environment. Um, what it is, chicken wire. Good old chicken wire. Now, cats don't like when they go to scratch this. So when you put it on dirt and secure it down really well so it doesn't come up, um, the cats will stay, you know, you might have a cat go in there and scratch, but they don't like the feel of this on their paws. So they'll essentially leave your flower beds, your pots alone. And it's really, really simple. You've been watching me cut this down, probably wondering what I was doing. And so I have a pot here and I'm gonna, 
I'm gonna bring you guys down real quick. So here we are, here's our pot, and I have just kind of cut this down so it fits in here a little bit better. It doesn't have to be perfect. And we're just gonna put it in like that. And it's pretty tight. Wanna make sure nothing is poking up. You don't wanna hurt anything. Honestly, it'd probably be me that got hurt. <laughs> And so now that is secured down, a cat comes in, they start to scratch it, and uh, they're not gonna like this feel on their paws. Now, if you had a flower bed and you wanted to put some of this down, but you didn't want like your HOA to say anything about this, you can definitely secure this down. And um, I, they have some wire clips that, um, for landscape, you know, the landscape fabric, you can use those uh, kind of clips. Secure this down and then put your mulch on top of it. Your HOA will never see this but those pesky cats will stay out of your flower beds. Now, this plants can go through, grow through very, very easily, um, not a problem. But if you're planting something in here that has a big stalk, um, you know, like a uh, some sort of perennial, maybe like, um, I don't know, like a, a rose bush, and it started out very small, you just take your snips and give it more room to grow. Very, 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 very simple. Y'all, that was my trick. This is how I'm gonna keep the cats out of my flower pots. So there you have it, that was my trick. It is cheap and it is very effective against pesky cats. And you can use it in flower pots, you can use it in, or if you call them buckets, um, you can use it in flower beds, uh, you could use it small scale, large scale, very, very inexpensive, very, very effective. Um, a little bit of chicken wire will go a very long way and you can adapt the chicken wire around your plants. So y'all, until we talk tomorrow, y'all be blessed. Bye now.